cell organelles. Now let us discuss about the various cell organelles present in the cytoplasm of the cell. Chloroplast is a double membranous organelle present in the cytoplasm of the cell and it involves in photosynthesis by converting solar energy into chemical energy. Mitochondria is also a double membranous organelle and it helps in the production of energy in the form of ATP molecules. Hence, mitochondria is called as powerhouse of cell. Ribosome is the most primitive organelle of the cell and it involves in protein synthesis. Lysosomes are called as societal bag of cell. Vacuole is called as storehouse of the cell. Now let us discuss about the nucleus of the cell. Nucleus is called as cell brain and it contains nucleolus, chromosomes and DNA. When we observe the nucleus of the cell under a microscope, we can see a small spherical body in the nucleus. It is called the nucleolus. In addition to the nucleolus, nucleus contains thread-like structures called chromosomes. These carry genes and help in inheritance or transfer of characters from the parents to the offspring. We can see the chromosomes clearly during the cell division. Nucleus, in addition to its role in inheritance, it also controls all the activities of the cell. Hence, it is called as a brain of the cell or cell brain. Based on the nuclear membrane, cells are of two types, namely prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Nuclear membrane is absent in prokaryotic cells like bacteria and cyanobacteria, etc. Nuclear membrane is present in eukaryotic cells like all plant cells and animal cells.